what is up guys here from the same ad youtube channel in today's video we're going to combine two of the videos i've done here on the channel into one to completely shut down rollout corners but before we do that guys please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button also, make sure you guys take the time to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of the uploads coming your way here on the Zan Madden YouTube channel. If you guys want to watch me play Madden live, you guys can find me live on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Zan Madden. The link for my channel is below in the description, as is a link to my ebook bundle. If you guys are looking for a different way to play the game on both sides of the ball, you guys can get my full Washington Redskins single back wing tight U, wing tight, and wing tight Z ebook, as well as my full comprehensive four bear which i used to defend nearly everything for one low price you guys can click that link in the description upon checkout you will be given all the files to download no waiting for me to go live no waiting for my moderators to send you guys the links no waiting for those email links every friday if you're subscribed to my twitch channel okay guys without further ado let's go ahead and get into today's video we're going to combine two videos that i've done here over the last month or two on the channel into one kind of defense that's going to allow you a lot of user freedom um you're going to be using the nickel 335 wide now what i want you to do here in this video is i want you to go to your slot corner i want you to sub him out and sub him back in and then what you're going to do is you're going to go and you're going to use the safety at nickel back package by flicking the right stick to the right twice and what that's going to do is that's going to sub in a safety at that nickel corner. But because we already bumper subbed our corner out and then back in that RB sub, or that bumper sub trumps the package that you're using. So this is going to allow us to do some different things with our zone drops on the field. Now, the play that we're going to run is the Tampa two. Um, and you'll notice that I've got a fair amount of calls out of that this year. I've actually been calling it. Uh, a decent amount of time against uh, rollout corners. As, as you can see, this is a coverage defense uh, for me. So the amount of yardage that I've allowed, 6.3 yards per play against basically just passers, that's pretty solid in terms of yards per play allowed. Um, so this is something that I definitely use a lot. And I'm going to combine two tactics that I've broken down here on the channel into one video for you guys here. So let's go ahead and take the field with this. Now, what you're going to notice first and foremost is that uh, with your corner to the wide side of the field, um, we actually don't have the corner adjustments because we use the safety at nickelback package. It actually gives us safety adjustments for this slot corner. We've broken this down on the channel before. If you take a look, there are different assignments that they can play our middle third, outside third left, deep half left, mid read, main coverage, outside third right, deep half right, and blitz. Uh, this is very, very different than your typical... Uh, outside linebacker or slot corner uh, adjustments of hard flat, curl flat, seam flat, vertical hook, spy, bluff blitz, blitz, and man coverage. So if I didn't have that package active, that corner would actually have these assignments that you see on your screen right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to take advantage of that and we're going to put this player into a middle third. And what he's going to do is he's going to drop off the line of scrimmage deep over the middle, allowing us freedom to go ahead and use her the way that we see fit. Now, another way that you could do this is you could actually put him into a deep half, or I'm sorry, an outside third to the right, and then rotate the safety that is on that side into a middle third. That way, if you're getting bombed down the seam with lobs, uh, you have somebody that's back at that third level of the defense already back there to recover. So if you're getting beat down the seam with lobs, kind of think about doing this adjustment. Otherwise, you could go ahead and stick with this type of coverage right here, where you're going to put the slot corner into the middle third, and you're going to rotate the safety over the top into an outside third. Now, why is that outside third on the safety important? Now, let's go ahead and break it down for you. There are two zones in the game that really do a solid job of trying to defend corners. The first one is a cloud flat, and that's good unless you basically get rolled out on, which is a problem. We're going to address that here in this video as well. Uh, but cloud flats do a solid job. Uh, more so solid on the short side of the field than the wide side of the field. But the zone that does a good job on the wide side of the field is actually an outside third. So whether it's a out corner that's in an outside third or it's a safety in a cover three cloud situation like we have here with Clinton Dix over the top, they tend to have an affinity for corner routes. They are going to go and chase corner routes pretty consistently. Uh, and you're, what you're trying to do is put two zones on the field that are going to pinch or bracket that route uh, just so you can get those catch and traffic penalties on the receiver as the ball is thrown. So uh, when you think about it, you want a, a route or a zone that's breaking down on that and you want a zone that's breaking back on it. 
uh, hopefully to, you know, get that receiver to drop the ball in traffic or maybe uh, lead to a, a drop into the hands of your defense for an interception. So uh, this is a, a coverage that we've broken down here on the channel uh, numerous times out of numerous formations. I've broken it down on how to do it out of 3-4 using special packages out of 3-4 even. I've broken it down in the quarters overload video. I've certainly broken it down here in the 3-3-5 wide as well. So we're going to go back and reference this coverage. Now, let me go ahead and show you how this plays on the field. If I were to actually snap this ball here, uh, it's not perfect, but it, it's not bad. Uh, it's not bad either. Um, it's a solid coverage and we're going to combine this and I actually chose the wrong play. But just in principle, we're going to try to show you the rollout corner. Like if I try to go and throw that, you see how you basically have Eddie Jackson there. You've got the cloud flat and it does exactly what I talked about. It pinches it, catches him in the air and he drops the ball. Now there are better corners than others in general. So let me go back to the play call menu uh, and kind of show that to you as well. So um, if I go into, everybody knows the Saints offense, this gun tight offset tight end and the play that everyone runs is Saints halfback wheel. Uh, and the reason people love this play, um, and I'm going to try to, Go ahead and sub the the tight end out here so i'm going to put in receivers uh let's go ahead and do that we'll go ahead and use the i want to say it's a tight end package yeah there we go tight end left uh to get a receiver a better route runner on the field here uh to the wide side so again we're going to go back to the play call menu on defense and you are running the nickel 335 wide safety nickel back package and you want the nickel corner to the wide side of the field tampa two and all we're doing is we're basically putting that uh, outside safety on the wide side into an outside third, and you're dropping this nickel corner down the middle uh, to try to pinch that throw. So we go back to this play here. Uh, you see, we got this little corner route. Everybody likes to set up, you know, a rollout, right? So they slide protect away from the rollout side. They double team the end, and then they put the mic on the edge rusher to try to cut block him. And what that ends up with oftentimes is kind of a cut block animation, and then they roll out and they try to chuck this corner out. And you see right there how the zone actually plays it well. So the zone is very good. The zone is very, very good. That outside third will do a solid job at taking away that rollout corner to the wide side of the field. But what you saw very clearly was that our cloud flat vacated on this play due to the cut block. You see how we get this cut block from our running back on Khalil Mack. Now the edge is free. We roll out. And what ends up happening is if, as we freeze this right here, at this point, you've got a cloud flat that's sinking underneath of this corner. You've got an outside third over the top of it. That looks pretty good. That corner route is pretty well covered. But the problem is, as you roll out, this cloud flat vacates and starts to break down. You see how this Kyle Fuller right here is breaking down towards the quarterback. This is what leads to a lot of these corner route throws on the sideline where they click on and they get these, you know, possession catch animations right here on the sideline. But... That's the beauty of this defense is that we actually have pretty good uh pretty good coverage right here so let's see right here he gets gets the catch one foot up he gets out of bounds on that play so um you know we, we squeeze that route very very well but the problem is we don't want them rolling out and chucking those corner routes because you know the more they do it like if somebody wanted to they could just literally streak the b receiver set up their cut block and i'm going to do the exact same coverage right here you know, this coverage isn't perfect by any stretch. Um, and I want to I want to make sure that you guys understand that this coverage is not perfect. But um, you see right here, we get our cut block right there. We're able to kind of like roll out and then we do that possession catch on the sideline. And if you have, you know, post flag elite, that's going to be one of those throws that you catch very consistently. So what can we do to alleviate this problem? Now, this is going to reference back to a video I did on visual cues. I'm going to go ahead and link that video for visual cues in the description for you guys, because basically when you're in a game, not in practice mode, but when you're in a game, when your opponent, let me go ahead and set up the defense here. I'm going to, I'm going to set up the exact same play to try to pull them away. So a little rollout corner action, um, go ahead and let me set up my coverage now. Um, so, you know, we set up this coverage, right? And basically what we notice is that, um, and I'm going to make this easier by moving Marsh onto this side, when they go to set up their cut block, right, they are going to block the running back, then they are going to slide protect away from the side they want to cut block, then they do a double team, and then they're going to do an ID the mic. Now, when they go to the ID the mic phase, and they hit A to select, you won't notice this in practice mode, but you will definitely notice it in game 
that the quarterback will point. The quarterback will immediately point to the side that he wants to ID to. If he points to the right, that means more often than not, they're going to cut block and roll to the right. So when they hit this select, you'll notice the quarterback will animate. He'll put his finger up and he'll point to the right side of the field. This should tell you right away that they want to roll out. Now, this is where I don't really have the ability to um, user the rollout and user the defensive control at the same time. So this is going to be very, very tough for me to illustrate. But when you see that cue, that should tell you right away, hey, they're going to roll out to the right. And with your user, which actually has middle of the field freedom because you've got this slot corner rotating to center field, you can play very hyper aggressive towards that rollout. So when that ball snapped, you see Khalil Mack comes in off the edge, you follow him and get right out wide and they're going to run right into you because they're so conditioned to, as soon as they see that guy come in, they know that running back's about to dive at his legs. Boom, let's get out. So let me show you what I mean here. Um, so if I were to go ahead and set this up, I mean, I personally have this habit. I do it all the time where, you know, I set it up, here he comes. Now I'm ready to roll out. Now imagine if you're Roquan Smith, you're going to be able to throw that ball to or, or chase the quarterback before he can throw the ball and get that cloud flat to roll out. I mean, you could see definitely right here how I'm going to leave the cursor. I mean, you ought to be, you ought to be with Roquan. So watch my white cursor. This should be where Roquan is instead of the middle of the field. As he roll, as you see this animation happen, you should literally, and this is hard to control here, you should literally be scraping, having a real hard time controlling this. Uh, you should be scraping with this user to get out here into this area and, and shut him down before he can get out to the numbers. Because you'll notice that once he gets out to the numbers, right about, boom, there, you notice that that's where the cloud fly drops off. So where your target should be on any rollout is literally a step away from the numbers. Right here is where you need to really meet them in the hole. You should be hitting him right here. Because if he gets to this spot, you see right there as Russ crosses through it, that's where the cloud flat stops covering. Because now he's worried about the rollout and he wants to go down and get the quarterback. So with your user, again, I'm the white, I'm the white circle here. With your user, as soon as you see this action, you need to be meeting him right, basically. Honestly, if you can meet him earlier, that's better. I usually, with this, I will take, when I decide to manually rush, I will basically do an action, and I'll just do it with the, with the defensive controller here. Uh, let me go ahead and set up the, the rollout again here. So I see him right here when he goes to ID the mic. Boom, he points to the right. That says, okay, roll out right. When that ball is snapped, I'm instantly getting around edge, like meeting right here. And you see, like, it's going to just keep them in the pocket where now they can't roll out and suck down that cloud flat. And now you disrupt the timing of how their progression goes, because a lot of those players want to roll out to the wide side of the field, look for that corner. And then their entire read off of that is a backside in route or a tight end delay fade, or maybe some sort of playmaker to hitch up the field. If you keep them in the pocket on those designed rollout plays, it completely derails how they, they make those plays because the route progression is great when you've moved the pocket, you know, all the way out to the numbers, but that route progression is honestly terrible when you're standing in the pocket because you don't have the same throwing lanes. If you think about it, when you roll that pocket, that area between hook zones is different when you're throwing it back across the field versus over the middle. Um, it's all about throwing lanes. So, Hopefully this video was informational for you guys. I do apologize because I really haven't been able to master the art of rolling out and using the rollout at the same time. I think that's more of a, a genetics problem than anything. Uh, but uh, hopefully you guys understand what I'm trying to, to show you guys here. Again, the defense that we are in is the nickel 335 wide Tampa 2. Safety at nickel back package, but you can put a nickel corner there. And all we are doing is setting up a cloud coverage to the wide side or the rollout side of the field. Now, if you wanted to, you could actually go ahead and do something like this. You could you could go ahead and put outside third right, outside third left, and then you've got, you know, the, the entire middle of the field is going to be yours to user at the start. And then, of course, when they point, you know, if they point over to, let's say, for instance, they they decide to point to the uh, the left or whatever. So, you know, they, they want to roll out. Uh, and they do their slide protect double team and then they ID the mic over here. Boom, he's going to point to the left. 
that ball snapped, you literally can take this rush angle and meet them right there on the edge. They're not gonna be able to roll out to that side. So just kind of keep that in mind as well. You can play both those safeties and outside thirds to pinch corners to either side. So if you're worried about you know, a corner out to both sides, that would be the answer for that defense. But hopefully this video helped you guys out. If you have any questions, definitely be sure to drop them below. Appreciate all the support on the channel. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. We'll see you guys tomorrow with our next video upload. Until then, this is Zan. Get in the lab and good luck.